The Richest Man in Babylon, by George Clayson is the most inspiring book on wealth ever written with the success secrets of the ancients, an assured road to happiness and prosperity. Wealth is power. With wealth many things are possible, and money is plentiful for those who understand the simple law that govern its acquisition. George Clayson explains the basis of money. Whether you're a recent graduate or a seasoned investor, this is your financial compass, a timeless guide through the intricacies of finance. Money is governed today by the same law which controlled it when prosperous men thronged the streets of Babylon, 6,000 years ago, as quoted in this book. Even though, the original tale transport back in Babylon days, but for more relatable illustrations, we'll employ present-day visuals. Let's introduce our main character, Arkad, who once lived in old Babylon as a very rich man. Far and wide he was famed for his great wealth. He was generous in his charities. He was generous with his family. He was liberal in his own expense. But nevertheless, each year his wealth increased more rapidly than he spent it. His tale is not of kings and conquerors. His story of an ordinary man who rose from rag to riches to become a legend. He had an extraordinary dream, to change his life. Today, we embark on an exploration, a journey that promises to unveil the secrets to wealth and success. Join us in uncovering the secrets. The seven principles through the story of ordinary man who transformed into a legend, a man who understood that wealth, like wisdom, is attainable to those who dare to seek it. Principle 1. Start thy purse to fattening. Arkad was not born in a wealthy family but he still became a richest man in Babylon. What set Arkad apart was his insatiable hunger for knowledge and an unwavering determination to rewrite his destiny. He was a man of talent and ambition, he was a young scribe living in the heart of Babylon. But he had a problem, his finances were in disarray. Despite his diligence, he found trapped in a cycle of living paycheck to paycheck, not able to save. One fateful day, as he observed the city's wealthiest merchants, a revelation struck him like a lightning bolt. These prosperous individuals shared a common secret. They prioritized saving a portion of their earnings before indulging in other expenditures. Fueled by this newfound insight, Arkad resolved to change his life. He made a solemn commitment to save a minimum of 10% of his income, no matter how meager it might be. The journey was challenging, but his determination remained unshaken. How we can you apply this first principle in our life? Step 1. Set a savings goal. Decide on a fixed percentage, like 10%, and stick to it. Step 2. Automate savings. Set up automatic transfers to a savings account right when you get paid. Step 3. Live within your means. Adjust spending to fit your savings goal, cutting non-essential expenses. Step 4. Track and adjust. Monitor your savings regularly, and adapt your budget as your income grows. What Start Thy Purse to Fattening teaches us. The first step to financial success is saving consistently. No matter your income, setting aside a portion of it for your future is paramount. This savings should be your priority, coming before all other expenditures. Principle 2. Control Thy Expenditures. Arkad's commitment to saving bore fruit. However, he soon realized that he needed to take another crucial step on his journey to financial success, controlling his expenditures. Despite his growing savings, Arkad noticed that he was still living with a constant sense of financial anxiety. He decided to review his spending habits and was astonished to discover how much money he was squandering on unnecessary expenses. Arkad understood the need for change. He crafted a budget prioritizing essentials like food, shelter, and clothing, eliminating unnecessary expenses and optimizing his spending. Practicing expenditure control empowers you to manage finances better, reduce stress, and allocate more resources for saving and investing. How we can you apply this second principle in our life? Step 1. Create a budget. Outline monthly income and expenses, prioritizing necessities like housing, utilities, groceries, and transportation. Step 2. Track spending. Keep records to pinpoint areas for cost cutting, utilizing budgeting apps and tools. Step 3. Needs versus wants. Assess purchases based on necessity and affordability within your budget. Step 4. Prioritize savings. Allocate income to savings and investments after covering essential expenses, making it a non-negotiable part of your budget. Step 5. Control thy expenditures underscores the importance of living within your means and managing your spending wisely. What control thy expenditure teaches us? To prioritize essential expenses, avoid unnecessary purchases, and be mindful of where our money goes. 
Principle 3, Make Thy Gold Multiply. As Arkid continued on his journey to financial mastery, he realized that merely saving money was not enough to secure his future. He needed his savings to grow and multiply. So, he set out to learn the art of investing. Arkid sought the guidance of experienced investors in Babylon and immersed himself in the study of various investment opportunities. He learned about stocks, bonds, real estate, and business ventures. With newfound knowledge and careful consideration, he began to invest his savings wisely. Over time, Arkid's investments started to yield returns. The money he had saved was no longer stagnant, it was working for him. His wealth grew steadily, and he knew he was on the right path to financial security. How we can you apply this third principle in our life? Step 1. Educate yourself. Begin by learning about different investment options. Books, online courses, and financial advisors can provide valuable insights. Step 2. Diversify your investments. Spread your investments across various asset classes to reduce risk. Consider stocks, bonds, real estate, mutual funds, and other investment vehicles. Step 3. Start small. If you're new to investing, begin with a manageable amount. You can gradually increase your investments as you gain confidence and experience. Step 4. Seek professional advice. Consult with a financial advisor or investment expert to create a well-balanced investment portfolio tailored to your goals and risk tolerance. Step 5. Monitor your investments. Regularly review your investment portfolio and make adjustments as needed. Stay informed about market trends and economic developments. Make Thy Gold Multiply teaches us that accumulating wealth requires more than just saving, it requires investing your savings wisely. Money left idle loses value due to inflation, so it's crucial to put your money to work through investments. Just as Arkid's wealth increased steadily, so can yours, bringing you one step closer to financial freedom and prosperity. Principle 4. Guard thy treasures from loss. As Arkid's wealth continued to grow through his wise investments, he realized the importance of safeguarding his hard-earned money. He knew that protecting his treasures from loss was crucial to maintaining his financial security. Arkid decided to take measures to mitigate risks associated with his investments. He learned about the value of insurance to protect his assets from unexpected events such as fires, natural disasters, or accidents. He also diversified his investments to spread risk, ensuring that he wasn't overly reliant on any single asset. He understood that thorough research was essential to guard against potential losses. Furthermore, Arkad paid close attention to the companies and ventures he invested in, making informed decisions based on their financial health and reputation. How we can you apply this fourth principle in our life? Step 1. Purchase adequate insurance. Protect your assets with insurance coverage, including health, property, and life insurance. Step 2. Diversify investments. Spread your money across various investments to reduce risk and safeguard your portfolio. Step 3. Conduct due diligence. Thoroughly research any investment opportunity, understanding risks and potential returns. Step 4. Stay informed. Keep up with financial markets, economic trends, and regulatory changes that impact your investments. Step 5. Regularly review financial plan. Periodically assess goals, risk tolerance, and investment strategy making adjustments as needed to align with your objectives. Guard thy treasures from loss, stress is safeguarding your wealth from unexpected risks. Prioritize insurance, diversify investments, and make prudent decisions. By doing so, you protect your financial well-being and ensure a stable future. Like Arkid, securing your wealth can lead to its preservation and growth. Principle 5. Make of thy dwelling a profitable investment. Arkid's journey toward financial mastery led him to a profound realization, one that transformed his perspective on where he lived. He recognized that his dwelling, his home, could be more than just a place of shelter. It could be an investment in itself. Arkid had been renting a modest house in Babylon, paying a portion of his income every month to his landlord. Instead, he decided to explore the possibility of home ownership. He saw an opportunity to invest in a property that could appreciate in value over time, potentially bringing him financial stability. Arkid carefully evaluated various properties, considering their locations, potential for growth, and resale value. He understood that while owning a home required initial investment and responsibility, it could also serve as a profitable long-term asset. After much deliberation and saving, Arkid became a homeowner. Over the years, his property's value increased, 
and he not only enjoyed the comfort of his dwelling but also the knowledge that it was a sound financial investment. How we can you apply this fifth principle in our life? Step 1. Assess housing choice. Evaluate renting versus owning to determine the right financial fit. Step 2. Consider local factors. Account for the real estate market, future plans, and finances. Step 3. Save for down payment. Prepare by saving for a down payment to reduce mortgage costs. Step 4. Research properties. Explore neighborhoods and properties with growth potential. Step 5. Understand ownership costs. Anticipate expenses like maintenance, taxes, and insurance. Step 6. Long-term view. Treat your home as a patient, long-term investment to let it appreciate over time. Make of thy dwelling a profitable investment, urges us to see homes as more than just living spaces but as vehicles for long-term financial stability and growth. Like Arkid, who found financial stability in property investment, following this principle can lead to a prosperous future. Principle 6. Ensure a future income. Arkid, now a homeowner with a growing portfolio of investments, found himself pondering an essential aspect of financial success, ensuring a secure future income, especially for his retirement years. He realized that while he had made significant progress in accumulating wealth, he needed to plan for a time when he might no longer be able or willing to work as actively as he did in his youth. Arkad understood that a secure retirement required careful consideration and preparation. To ensure a future income, Arkad made a deliberate effort to set aside a portion of his earnings specifically for retirement. He explored various retirement savings options available in Babylon, such as pension-like arrangements and annuities, to guarantee a steady income stream during his golden years. Arkad's foresight in planning for his retirement not only provided him with peace of mind but also served as a powerful reminder that financial security extended beyond mere wealth accumulation. How we can apply this sixth principle in our life? Step 1. Start saving for retirement early. The earlier you begin saving for retirement, the more time your investments have to grow. Make it a priority to set aside funds for your future. Step 2. Contribute to retirement accounts. Take advantage of retirement schemes or other employer-sponsored tax-advantaged accounts available in your region. Step 3. Ensure a future income highlights the significance of retirement and long-term financial planning. It advocates setting aside a portion of income to secure a reliable post-working income source. By embracing this principle, you ensure financial security and peace in your retirement years. Arkad's foresight in planning for the future serves as a powerful reminder of its importance in securing a comfortable retirement. Principle 7. Increase thy ability to earn. Arkad, the richest man in Babylon, had amassed wealth, secured his future income, and made wise investments. He was a firm believer that personal growth and knowledge were drivers of prosperity. He recognized that to maintain and increase his wealth, he needed to invest in himself. He embarked on a lifelong journey of learning, seeking knowledge and acquiring new skills. He studied various fields, including finance, leadership, and entrepreneurship. With each new skill he acquired, his ability to earn expanded. Arkad also understood the importance of networking and building strong relationships with like-minded individuals. He surrounded himself with people who inspired him and shared his commitment to personal growth and financial success. How we can apply this seventh principle in our life? Step 1. Define learning goals. Set clear, personalized goals for growth. Step 2. Engage in reading. Stay updated by regularly reading in your field. Step 3. Invest in education. Consider courses or formal education for advancement. Step 4. Network for support. Connect with mentors and peers for guidance. Step 5. Attend events. Participate in seminars, workshops, and conferences. Step 6. Embrace change. See challenges as chances to learn and evolve. Increase thy ability to earn, underscores the need for ongoing self-improvement and lifelong learning to enhance earning potential. It highlights that investing in personal development is an investment in financial success. Arkad's dedication to self-improvement serves as a reminder that personal growth is continuous. By investing in yourself, expanding skills, and acquiring knowledge, you unlock new paths to financial success and a fulfilling life, mirroring Arkad's journey in ancient Babylon. Wrap up. Thank you for joining the Book Bites Club on this journey through the wisdom of the ages. And there you have it, dear viewers, our exploration of The Richest Man in Babylon has come to an end. 
Let's recap the seven key learnings that this masterpiece has gifted us. 1. Start saving early. The journey to financial success begins with the simple act of saving. Point 2. Control your expenditures. Managing your spending is crucial for financial stability. Point 3. Make your money multiply. Invest wisely to grow your wealth over time. Point 4. Guard against loss. Protect your assets through diversification and risk management. Point 5. Transform your dwelling. Your home can be a profitable investment for your future. Point 6. Secure your future income. Plan for retirement and long-term financial security. Point 7. Increase your earning potential. Continuous personal growth is key to financial success. As we conclude this chapter, remember the words of Arkad, the richest man in Babylon. A part of all I earn is mine to keep. It's a timeless reminder that wealth begins with a commitment to saving and managing your resources wisely. If you found value in today's video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell, so you never miss out on our next exploration of literary treasures. Until then, let's keep rewriting our stories with the ink of knowledge and the currency of wisdom. Keep reading, keep learning, and we will see you in the next video.